Hey parents and dear kids greetings to all in the precious name of lord and savior jesus christ i am joel from es3 we the children of es3 are here to share with you all the importance of palm sunday have you imagined not going to church on a palm sunday not going for a procession with a palm in your hand i know it's a no though we don't meet each other in person let's gather together in singing a few songs and listening to the word of god before we start let's look to the lord in prayer Lord our heavenly father thank you for this new day given us our lord thank you for blessing us leading us and guiding us our lord from one blessed moment our lord thank you for your grace thank you for your mercy thank you for your unconditional love towards us our lord though we don't deserve all this thank you for still counting us worthy our lord even as we sing praises unto you and listen to your word through our brothers and sisters please prepare our hearts and minds our lord so that we may listen to you i ask these few things in the precious name of lord and savior jesus christ amen chapter 21 verses 1 to 11 now when they drew near to jerusalem and came to bethphage to the mount of olives then jesus sent two disciples saying to them go into the village in front of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her untie them and bring them to me if anyone says anything to you you shall say the lord needs them and he will send them at once This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet saying Say to the daughter of Zion Behold your king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey on a colt the foal of a beast of burden The disciple went and did as Jesus had directed them They bought the donkey and the colt and put them on their cloaks and he sat on them Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road and the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting hosanna to the son of david blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest and when he entered jerusalem the whole city was stirred up saying who is this and the crowds said this is the prophet jesus from nazareth of galilee may god bless this word Good evening everyone. I am Joshua from AS3 Seniors and today I am going to share a short story on Palm Sunday. What is Palm Sunday? Palm Sunday commemorates the triumphant entry of Jesus into the city of Jerusalem riding on a donkey. According to Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 to 11, Jesus asked two of his disciples to go untie a donkey and bring it to him. The disciples brought it and put their cloaks on it and uh, made Jesus ride on the donkey and enter Jerusalem. fulfilling the prophecy in zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 
Entering on a donkey symbolizes arrival in peace. The people greeted Jesus waving their palm leaves and put their cloaks for Jesus and the donkey to enter, shouting, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Most High, and Hosanna in the highest heaven. They knew about Jesus that he was special because they had heard and seen about the miracles that he had done. The word Hosanna means save us. The palm branch was a Jewish symbol for triumph and victory. They wanted Jesus to redeem them from the Roman oppression. But Jesus had come for a totally different intention to this world. That is, he wanted to die for our sins and save us from uh, death and sin. Palm Sunday serves as a preparation for us to welcome God into our lives like the people of Jerusalem. So let us celebrate this Palm Sunday thanking God for the victory that he has given us over sin by dying for us on the cross of Calvary. Thank you. Happy Palm Sunday. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come into your presence this time, O Lord. Lord, today we are going to learn about Palm Sunday, Lord, the story of it, how you entered into Jerusalem. Lord, Lord God, Master, fill each one of us with your Holy Spirit, that we might know and understand your word, O Lord. Lord, Master, I pray for them who are going to take the devotion. Fill them with your Spirit, Lord, that they might help, that they might make each one of us understand your word, Lord. Lord God, Master, fill us with your spirit that we might glorify you and honor you, Lord. Lord God, Master, give us strength and grace that we might always worship you, Lord. Lord, keep each and every one safe in their homes, Lord. Lord God, Master, help them and guide them, Lord. Lord God, Master, help us to read your word, help us to understand your word, and help us to walk in it, Lord. Lord God, Master, bless each and every person here, Lord. Lord. Give them strength and bless them, O Lord. In the precious name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray and ask. Amen. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Joanna uh, from ESC Seniors, and I am here to talk a little about the triumphant entry. The triumphant entry took place on the Sunday before the crucifixion of Jesus, and it's on the Palm Sunday. Uh, this story is really significant in the Bible. It has been mentioned in four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. When Jesus was entering Jerusalem, he was fulfilling the prophecy of Zechariah, which has been mentioned in the book of Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 9, um, which says that a king will enter the city of Jerusalem on riding on a colt or a foal of donkey with humbleness. Now, um, let's say you're going to meet a celebrity. How would you feel? You'd feel so excited, right? You'd feel so happy and you'd feel so special because you don't get to see celebrities every day and you would just be so excited to see them. And that is exactly how the people of Jerusalem felt. They were really happy and excited to welcome Jesus to the city of Jerusalem. When did Jesus become a celebrity? Well, before coming to Jerusalem, he performed a miracle which was bringing back Lazarus from death. Who would perform a miracle like that? Only Jesus can do it because he is the greatest of all. And the news about this spread and everyone came to know. 
and they were really excited and happy to see someone who performed such a miracle and to see the king who will save them. Um, the perspective of a king was different because they wanted Jesus to become a king to overcome political oppression. But then they knew that Jesus was someone important and they were really happy and they welcomed him with um, uh, waving palm leaves and then throwing their clo cloaks on the road and then they started shouting, praising and singing out his name. They said, Hosanna, Hosanna, God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. That was a joyous outbreak. Well, what does Hosanna mean? It means salvation is now. Save us. Jesus is the one who brings us salvation and he is the only one who can save us from anything. Uh, now, um, let us talk about the donkey. Why did Jesus choose the donkey? Why not a horse, an elephant or a camel? They represent royalty, right? But why did Jesus choose royalty? Okay, um, let's say, uh, what comes into your mind when I say the word king? Well, for me, it is usually like a man sitting on a white horse with his sword in his hand and he's coming back from the war with so many soldiers behind him with pretty clothes. That is what a king is for us, right? But Jesus was different. He was special and he wanted to prove that he was the king of peace and not the king of war. And that he is completely different from any of the earthly kings here. And the second reason is to fulfill the prophecy of Zechariah. Like I said before. Now, um, there is one thing which we have to remember when we read the triumphant entry. It is the purpose of Jesus. Why did Jesus come here? Why, did he, uh, why was he born to die? Well, Jesus came not to conquer blood or flesh, but to conquer and overcome sin, death and evil. He is the only one who can protect us and he is the only one who can rise us from our deaths and he is the only one who can save us and he is the only one who can give us salvation. He is the only king for us. Well, this is something we have to remember. And Yes, I'm going to end my little talk here. Uh, your memory verse for today is um, Zechariah 9, 9. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. And please learn this prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time that you've given us to come into your presence, uh, to learn more about you on this Palm Sunday, Father Lord. Father Lord, you are the greatest. You are the one we worship and we, you are the one who we praise, Father Lord. We lift your name up high and we give up ourselves for you alone, Father Lord. I commit everyone into your presence, Father Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hello everybody, I'm Shamuel, a senior student from ES3 and I'm going to be singing a song for you guys. I see the King of glory Coming on the clouds with fire The whole earth shakes The whole earth shakes I see His love and mercy Washing over all our sin the people sing, the people sing. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the I see a generation Rising up to take their place With selfless faith 
with selfless faith. I see you near revival, stirring as we pray and seek. We're on our knees, we're on our knees. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. from AS3 seniors. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we love you and thank you Lord for this wonderful time which you have given us in our life Lord Jesus. Lord, as we come into your holy presence, as we remember your triumphal entry Lord Jesus, please Lord enter into our lives and into our hearts so that we may experience your presence in our lives Lord Jesus. Lord, give us your memory part so that we may we may remember what Janaka spoke to us today and we may remember our verses, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we stay in our homes during this period of lockdown, Lord Jesus, please be with us, Master. Help us to overcome this virus which is spreading rapidly on the face of this earth, Lord Jesus. Lord, bless all our Sunday school children, teachers, volunteers, pastors and everyone, Lord Jesus, and their families, Lord Jesus. Please shower your mighty blessings upon them and keep them safe from every danger and harm, Lord Jesus. Lord, we once again ask you to help us to memorize our verses and you guide us to walk in your ways, Lord Jesus. And protect us and safeguard us from every danger and harm. I ask these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello all, I'm Laura from AS3 Seniors. I hope this video has taught you all about the triumphal entry of Christ and its significance. Before we leave this, let's reflect and ponder on this question. Is Jesus the Lord at all times? Is he the Lord of your life? Praise him with all your heart and commit yourself to him. Do not forget to learn your memory verse. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Bye.